Broadway has never seen a curtain call quite like this. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 award show winners who rejected the awards. I don't, wouldn't know what it's for. I wouldn't know uh, how it would enhance my life. For this list, we'll be looking at celebs who said thanks but no thanks to some of showbiz's most prestigious honors. Which of these award show rejections do you think was the most epic? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, 31st Annual Grammy Awards In 1989, the Grammys included a new category for rap music, and the first recipients were the Fresh Prince and DJ Jazzy Jeff. However, the excitement of this historic moment was short-lived when the award show decided not to televise the category. Nominated for their song, Parents Just Don't Understand, the music duo chose to boycott the entire award ceremony. We, we don't have a problem with the Grammy as an award or the Grammy as an institution. We just had a problem with the 1989 design of the award show. In his autobiography, Will Smith referred to it as a, quote, slap in the face. The Grammys eventually started to air the category, proving that if you want change, taking a stand is the way to go. Yeah, we like to dedicate this performance to all the rappers last year that stood with us to help us to earn the right to be on this stage tonight. Number 9. Tom Cruise, 47th, 54th, and 57th Golden Globe Awards. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the foreign press. Uh, Tom Cruise made headlines in 2021 when it was announced that he would be returning his Golden Globe Awards. Having won for Born on the Fourth of July, Jerry Maguire, and Magnolia, Cruise took home three Golden Globe Awards. The show, run by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, encountered major defamation due to its lack of diversity and faced a series of repercussions. They do not have right now any black members of their 86. They haven't had a black member for over 20 years. It was time to say time's up. Immediately following NBC's report that they would not air the Globes in 2022, Cruz followed suit by bidding farewell to accolades to show the HFPA that they have some major work to do. Number 8. George C. Scott, 43rd Academy Awards It's no secret that show business is a highly competitive industry. Award shows are an extension of that, and rightfully so. Some actors rather not pay them any mind. When George C. Scott won an Academy Award for his role in Patton, he became the very first performer to decline an Oscar. He called the ceremony a meat parade and believed that night it was unfair to compare performances. All right, now you sons of bitches, you know how I feel. However, his protest didn't stop the Academy from nominating him again in 1972 for his role in the hospital. I'm afraid I don't understand. What, what, do, you, what do you mean? Luckily for Scott, he didn't need to refuse a second time, as Gene Hackman won instead. Number 7. Jean-Paul Sartre, Nobel Prize in Literature The Nobel Peace Prize is among the most prestigious honors, but that does not mean everyone wants it. The prolific French playwright Jean-Paul Sartre famously turned down the distinction in 1964. Awarded for literature, Sartre rejected the Swedish Academy's offer by stating via a letter that he did not want the award nor the prize money that year or any time in the future. He also said that a writer should not, quote, let himself be transformed into an institution and was adamant about dismissing official honors throughout his career. La société bourgeoise voulait bien ne pas tenir compte de mes erreurs passées. Elle voyait là un aveu et elle me donnait le prix Goncourt, le prix Nobel. Elle vous pardonnait Elle me pardonnait et elle considérait que j'avais droit au prix Nobel, ce qui me paraissait monstrueux. Number 6. David Bowie, commander of the Order of the British Empire. The late David Bowie is one of Britain's most iconic names in music. So it was no surprise when Queen Elizabeth chose to honor the space oddity with the title of Commander of the Order of the British Empire in 2000. However, Bowie declined the monarch's offer as he didn't understand what it was all for. He joined a long list of other English performers who also turned down British honors, such as John Lennon, John Cleese, and Albert Finney. In 2003, the Empire also tried to honor Bowie with a knighthood, but he continued to stick to his morals and refused. There's some people who kind of really, they feel, they, you know, maybe that it's something that enhances their life and whatever. I'm not sure what I'd do with it. I'd lose it or break it. Or something <laughs> like Number 5. Greta Thunberg, Nordic Council Environment Prize 
Environmental activist Greta Thunberg became the face of youth fighting against climate change in the 2010s. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you! Protesting from a young age and now in her 20s, Thunberg gained public attention for her passion and dedication to the cause. In 2019, the Nordic Council chose to honor her with an environmental award that also included $51,000. While she appreciated it, Thunberg took to her Instagram account to decline it. She stated that, quote, the climate movement does not need any more awards. She went on to write that what's really important is getting influential leaders to listen. Number 4. Sinead O'Connor, 33rd Annual Grammy Awards Sinead O'Connor caused quite a stir when she declined to attend or accept her Grammy Award in 1991. The Irish singer-songwriter was nominated for four awards that year and went on to win the prize for Best Alternative Music Performance. Before the ceremony, O'Connor put pen to paper and addressed a letter to the Recording Academy, where she expressed her frustrations over their materialistic values versus their artistic ones. I think one of the ways that the industry en encourages commercial success and materiality is by having award ceremonies which very much uh, honor those who have achieved material success rather than people who have told the truth or who've done anything uh, to pass information to people or to inspire people or to, you know, just be uh, truthful about anything, you know what I mean? She received support from fellow industry titans, including Public Enemy, who rejected their invite, and Vernon Reed, who accepted a Grammy wearing a t-shirt of O'Connor. Number 3. Dolly Parton, 37th Annual Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony in 2022, country music legend Dolly Parton was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She joined other legends such as Pat Benatar and Eminem, but for Parton, it almost didn't happen. When she was awarded a nomination months prior, she actually turned it down. In an Instagram post Monday, Parton wrote, Even though I am extremely flattered and grateful to be nominated, I don't feel that I have earned that right, so I must respectfully bow wow. The Jolene singer-songwriter cited that she didn't feel like it was earned and was afraid of splitting the vote. Shortly after this statement, she changed her mind and thankfully accepted it. Back when they said they were going to put me in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I didn't really feel like I had done enough to deserve that. And I didn't uh, understand at the time that it's about a little more than that. But I'm just honored and so proud to be here tonight. And thanks to all of you. This isn't the first time Parton has rejected a distinction. She's also turned down a Presidential Medal of Freedom twice. She couldn't accept it because her husband was ill the second time she declined, she said she wouldn't travel due to COVID. She has also since heard from President Joe Biden about it, uh, but she feels like if she takes it, if she accepts it, it'll be all about politics. Number two, Julie Andrews, 50th Tony Awards. Julie Andrews returned to the Broadway stage after a 35-year hiatus by starring in the stage adaptation of Victor Victoria. The musical theater legend became the talk of the theater scene during a matinee curtain call. Having recently been nominated for a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Musical, Andrews announced that she was taking her name out of the race. I have searched my conscience and my heart, and I find that, sadly, I cannot accept this nomination. And I prefer, I prefer instead to stand with the egregiously overlooked. Despite her nomination, the rest of the cast and creative team were snubbed. Out of support, solidarity, and protest, Andrews told the Tonys to go fly a kite and stuck by her team. It shows that she's, uh, she feels this very strongly about this, and, uh, and I think that's great. She's an admirable person for doing something like that. Everybody knows she's a star. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Marlon Brando, 45th Academy Awards in one of the most talked about moments in Oscar history, Marlon Brando took a stance against the film industry's mistreatment of the Native American community. Nominated for his role in The Godfather, Brando won the award for Best Actor. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. 
Instead of attending the ceremony and accepting the award himself, he sent actress Sasheen Littlefeather to decline it. Littlefeather walked onto the stage, where she explained the actor's absence and why he rejected the prize. Following her speech, she was met with boos from the crowd and even saw John Wayne being held back. Littlefeather would go on to become isolated from the industry, and it was not until 2022 that the late activist received an apology from the Academy. It's never too late for forgiveness. She's right, it's never too late for forgiveness. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.